Greetings, everyone. Welcome, finally, to the follow-up for Fables of the Reconstruction. I listened to this album, uh, how long ago was it now? Let me look. Um, I haven't had a chance to record follow-ups for a little while. Uh, that was back in December. Um, so that was almost two months ago. Dang, I, uh, I have been a busy, busy man. I was also sick for a lot of December, which kind of sucked. But here we are. We are doing the follow-up for Fables of the Reconstruction. This is a decent album. Um, it lacks the like melodic song structure strength of the first two albums. Um, but what it lacks in that, it makes up for in uh, interesting tone and atmosphere. Uh, let's go ahead and go track by track on this thing. As you can see, I have it at about a 3.5 out of 5. Um, it's fairly consistent. Uh, the the B-side's a little weak for me. Uh, let's go ahead and go track by track on this thing. Feeling Gravity's Pull. Decent track with a Neo Psych flair to it. It's a bit too skeletal for my taste, but I like the vibe that they got going on here. Maps and Legends is a straightforward track, but I like the dark folk angle to it. Um, kind of a good example of great, great atmosphere and melody and uh and writing uh driver eight is obviously a highlight on the album it's not my favorite here but it's a solid and just a kind of fun breezy track to listen to with some nice variety to it life and how to live it this one's a bop not the best track here but the guitar playing is fun old man kenzie is a cool darker track with nice deep bass almost has this kind of gothic feel southern gothic feel if you will uh can't get there from here is a fun one with like this funk flair to it Really entertaining and hard to resist, even if it's not necessarily what I love REM for. Um, Green Grow the Rushes. Um, I'm pleased to hear everyone else kind of share my feelings on this. Uh, it's my favorite track on the album. Simple, bittersweet, fantastic chorus riff. It's just a great track. Um, Kohotek. Uh, maybe my least favorite one here. It's just too kind of washy and undefined, and it's not really melodically driven either. Uh, Auctioneer, it's cool to see R.E.M. toying with these types of kind of alt-rock styles back, all the way back in 85, uh, but just doesn't really do much for me personally. Um, Good Advices is a little too plodding for me, but I like the composition for what it is. It's a very easygoing track. And then Wendell G is a very simple but effective, very bittersweet, great outro track. Um, I dig the country vibe on it as well, so... That's how I feel about Fables. Um, it's a decent album. Um, my favorites would be Green Grow the Rushes and Wendell G with shout outs to Driver A, Old Man Kenzie, and Can't Get There From Here. Um, it was cool to see them toying around with stuff, but I feel like they left some of their greatest strengths off of this album to some degree. Um, and I, I have said it before on other reactions I've done since then, because I've actually reacted to Life's Rich Pageant and document uh, since um, recording this. And I would say that Fables of the Reconstruction, um, Murmur, the strengths of Reckoning is the melody and some of the more like pop formats. The, the strengths of Fables is the, the atmosphere and, and the mystery to it. Combine those two elements together, you have all the strengths of Murmur. Um, so like if I could like take my favorite songs off of this and my favorite songs off of Reckoning, um, I think I would have an album not as good as Murmur, but one that would be quite strong, I feel. Um, but that being said, most of the tracks here, perfectly fine. I enjoyed them. And that's all I have to say about Fables of the Reconstruction. So thank you all for watching. Until next time, Godspeed.